Hi, this is Dr. Ernesto, and today I'm filming here in La Havana, Cuba, and I wanted to share this beautiful view of this castle behind me and the morning bay here about six in the morning. And I wanted to give you three tips on what to do as a new immigrant to the United States to get integrated socially and help you access resources. So tip number one, wherever you move in the United States, there's typically a local newspaper that's dedicated to certain immigrant groups, whether you're Ukrainian or Russian or Guatemalan or Colombian or whatever, you can access these resources. You can look them up on your phone google local newspaper for austrians or australians or join social groups online for example in los angeles we have el clasificado is for migrants from latin american countries it's in spanish you could go online and check on your phone and it's going to give you resources for example it'll have job listings and these are great because these are usually people that employers that are looking for people that don't have legal status so they're willing to look the other way in terms of social security numbers work history all that kind of stuff so it's easier for you to find a job even though you don't have legal status to work in the United States they also will have listings for housing which is great because most landlords require a social security number uh, background check rental history all that kind of stuff so it could be tough to find housing but if you go on El Clasificado you'll find landlords on there that are willing to rent to people that do not have legal status don't have rental history don't have social background checks all that kind of stuff that they typically require to rent an apartment so it's a huge resource also, you're going to find out about community activities. For example, if you're from Russia, you're going to find out about local Russian group, Russian holiday festivals, you know, Nigerian festivals, stuff like that, where you can get together with other people from your country or your race or whatever, and you can hang out and share ideas. And that's going to be the second resource. You want to try to figure out how to reach other people in your community, because that's going to help you quite a bit to hang out with people. So they can give you tips on what to avoid and what to do to be successful in the United States. They can share with you how they failed, how they succeeded. That's enormous. That's a huge help. And it's going to help you feel better so you don't get stressed, you don't feel sad, you don't feel isolated. But you want to try to get connected with those people as much as possible. Tip number three, join some social groups like church. Go to church. Whatever church you belong to, go to the local mosque, go to the local Catholic church, whatever. Go to church, hang out with people, whether or not they're from your community or your country or not. You still have something in common. You have church in common. You have the religion in common. Those those are people that are typically good people. Those are people that are typically good people. They're going to open their arms. They're going to share with you. They're going to want to help you. They're going to say, hey, you know what? You're a Catholic just like me. I want to help you. Let me see what I can do. Let me help you find a job. Let me help you find a place to live. Let me get you in contact with a lawyer that can help you with your legal status, whatever. But they're going to be willing to help you out. So those are people that you want to try to associate with you. Positive people that are willing to help you. And you're going to need that. Remember, when you come to the United States, a lot of times people feel sad, lonely, isolated, and they isolate themselves more. They say, oh man, I don't want to get deported. I don't want to go out too much. I don't want to make too much noise. I don't want to get deported. It's not typically like that. And if you hang out with other people from your community, they're going to tell you, hey, this is what to do. This is what not to do. You're going to feel better. You're going to open yourself up. You're going to open yourself up to a lot more opportunities. You're going to have a lot more success in the U.S. If you socialize, you get better integrated into the community. So don't isolate isolate yourself, reach out, use these three tips and get going towards your goals and be successful in the United States. So thank you for watching in La Havana, Cuba. This is Dr. Ernesto. Thank you and goodbye.